Hello YouTube, so it's finally getting into autumn and then winter here down in Australia, it's actually getting cold, you can see my gloves because I'm in the city and it's a lot colder in the city than where I live actually, uh, it's about 5-6 degrees uh, colder in the city and I'm here for a free comic book day, I've already got Quite a lot of my comics got in it very early uh, to have an explore around, buy all the comics that I wanted before they all got sold out. Got quite a few good ones uh, at Kinokuya and at King's Comics, and now I'm just wondering. And I filmed videos about free comic book day before. I've filmed videos about. Uh, I love the community around it, how I love everybody cosplaying and kind of getting together, but I haven't really talked about the comics I love and the comics I'm reading. And I know that's a bit weird to talk about as I'm walking around the city, but I usually find that uh, I find it easier to talk when I'm walking. So, I love the comics that I'm currently reading. Uh, I'm reading the new Hawkeye series. It's finished with Hawkeye and they've moved on to Kate Bishop, which was kind of Hawkeye's apprentice. And I would really recommend those comics. The art style's quite interesting. I really enjoy it. I kind of like looking at, it's kind of showcasing Hawkeye's life when he's not an Avenger and how he kind of deals to day-to-day -day life. It's very real comics. I'd recommend that. The where it follows Hawkeye and not Kate Bishop. It's only six issues and it's really well written. The art is great. And then it moves on to Kate Bishop, his apprentice, who then takes up the mantle of Hawkeye really uh, coherently, really coherently and lovely after that kind of short six issue arc. I'm also reading Suicide Squad and catching up on Suicide Squad, which is so much better than the movie. If the movie is the only experience you've had with Suicide Squad, I would definitely, definitely recommend the comics. Uh, probably start with the new Suicide Squad that's just come out on GC's run. Um, I'm starting a bit earlier just because I like catching up with stuff. I'm a completionist, which is pretty terrible when you're a comic book reader because I am very, very much a uh, completionist. I need to catch up on all the stories and look at media is never enough for me. A few of the other comics I'm reading, I'm reading Saga, which is amazing. I'm about to catch up to date with that comic series. It's a great run. I'm not sure how many issues it's going to be. I think it's going to be 12 big uh, full issues, but I'm not uh, entirely sure. And when I when I say issues, I'm talking about the hardback books that kind of have six to eight individual issues in them. That's what I mean when I talk about issues. Um, I would definitely recommend Saga, kind of space Romeo and Juliet love story with lots of really interesting twists in it. Um, I don't know where it's going. I don't know how it's going to end, but I absolutely love it. Uh, highly recommend that one, although that's a bit more adult content in it. And I'm also catching up on Sandman and Fables, which are two very different comics if you've heard of them. Fables kind of is a retelling of all those fairy tales you've heard as a kid, and it's a lot more interesting and quite a bit more violent. Which, I mean, if you enjoy it's great. And uh, Sandman is Neil Gaiman's run on Orpheus, which has a lot of interesting Greek mythology in it and a lot of cool stories about the Endless and I won't reveal too much because with Neil Gaiman anything you reveal is basically a spoiler so I would definitely recommend going to read Sandman and those are the comics I'm kind of getting in and reading to lately uh, they're on my backpack so I'm not gonna really showcase any of them and eh, I don't really want to I think it's more enjoyable going to the stores see what you like uh, talk about what free comics you got down in the comments below, what comics you're currently reading, what you're interested in. Uh, you can probably tell a lot about me from my choices in comics. 
and uh, what I have chosen to buy and to read. Uh, the free comics I got, um, honestly, I can't, can't remember off the top of my head at the moment. I got the new Overwatch comic. I'm an Overwatch player as well. Uh, I got that one. I love the Overwatch comics. They're amazing, but I just read those as they come out. Uh, there's probably not many other comics I would suggest. Um, if you're watching all the Marvel films, any of the Marvel prequel comics are quite good, although uh, I've only looked through one or two of them. Besides that, I don't really have any other recommendations. Feel free to leave any recommendations in the comments below for what you think I should read. Besides that, have a great week. You'll hopefully see me next week. And don't forget to be awesome.